Hi guys and girls and welcome back to Zen's Minis, my name is Greg and today I am bringing you another basin tutorial but today's guide is a bit different from normal because I'll be answering a question that a few of you have been asking and that is how do you base a model that is already glued to the base? Well today I'm going to show you how to do that and we'll be quickly basing up some rank and file infantry. So here's my traitor guard that I'm using as a cultist in Kill Team and 40k. And as you can see, he's already glued to the base, and I'm starting to carefully paint on some Martian Iron Earth around his feet, making sure not to get any onto his boots. Texture paints are a great way to quickly base your models, especially if you're going for that battle-ready look, and you can combine them together like I'm doing here to create some simple effects. Iron Earth is a crackle paint, but it does look a bit flat when used on its own, but you can add some iron crust to create more texture, depth and character. Now that the Iron Earth is dry, you can see it leaves a cracked effect, and you can start placing on some of the iron crust around those cracks, using your brush to shift it about. The aim here is to build up the texture paint around your model's feet and it's absolutely okay for some of this paint to get onto the lower part of the boots as this just shows that the model is leaving footprints as he's walking across the landscape. If you're using Sterling Mud or Valhalla and Blizzard you can even pile this on top of the model's boots and this will create an effect like the model is wading through a boggy swamp or a deep snowdrift. And once the iron crust is dried, lightly dry brush the base with Kindle Flame. At this stage, it is perfectly fine to catch the tops of the model's feet with the dry brush as you're working across the model. This will actually help create a subtle weathering look as long as you're not too heavy with the dry brush. For the majority of the texture paints you can get good results by using only one round of dry brushing and if you want some more inspiration check out my basin playlist above. And now paint the rim of the base in the colour of your choice. And finally get those tufts on and you're all done. And as you can see this process is super quick, looks awesome and is perfect for those battle ready models. Guys, that is the end of today's episode. Really hope you've enjoyed. If you have, drop me a like, leave a comment below, and if you want some extras, check out my Patreon in the video description as well. But until next time, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll see you then.